Hi, welcome to AI Later class, and this is yet another video on long length video generation. So did you see any joins in that 15 second video at the start of this? No, so this is what the difference is, right? This is probably the best long length video generator yet. It's way better than the last video I did on Stable Video Infinity. The only difference is the WAN type long length generations are better in image quality realism but this thing is better in memory so it can remember one minute back or two minutes back where one generators can't really do it which would make it really good for long sequence video shots i'm going to go through the workflow models you need some samples from the website so if you want to know anything about that stay watching on the hugging face page the first thing is it's 13.6 billion parameters versus one 2.214b it is text to video, image to video, and video to video. Looking at some benchmarks here versus 1, 2.2, Pix versus 5, and VAO 3, it's pretty much middle of the range on all of these here. This is for the text to video, and if we look underneath at the image to video, slightly a bit less in overall quality, motion quality a little bit less, and visual quality middle of the range but it's doing pretty good. I'm just going to go through some samples now. So yeah, there's a little bit of weirdness to it. When she picks up that carton specifically, it's a little bit warped, but this is an FP8. It's not a 16 model, so you can only expect so much out of that. However, it does hold the consistency of the camera movement. And in this, you see the crumbs falling off. It does have a lot of things that are really good. It's just a bit of warping that's a bit strange. Yeah, so there's no joins in these long length videos. It's just the weirdness of the video footage itself. But I do like how there's no joins. This car shot's probably the best clip I've seen to show how good this is with the cars in front. There's no warping in. A lot of generators have problems with car races like this. But these cars are holding it together. There's no joins in between it. This clip in particular is 28 seconds long. So that's a really good example going around the stadium. It's a fast movement that it seems to be holding it all together. There is a hugging face space for those that don't have a good enough computer to run this. And you upload your image and write your prompt there and press the button. Or you can click the text to video. Do the same there. However, it only goes for 6 seconds. So it's not really giving you the showcase of this product versus the one product. Here's the models you need for Longcat. There is a BF16 model there, but from what I've read, it hasn't been producing very good generations. I'm using the FP8, and I do have this Distill LoRa, which is your fast LoRa. And you can put this Longcat refinement on. I didn't put it on, but what it does is make the quality better, but your generations will take longer. So it's worth it if you've got the computer to get a better quality output. In the workflow, if you haven't used any WAN product before, you'll need this WAN 2.1 VAE, and you will also need this text encoder. So I will have both of those links in the comments, but that's all the models. So load your FP8 model here, and load your Distill LoRa here. Load your image here, and put your sizes here. I've got 832 by 480. If you don't know your size, there's a big chart down the side here. Now I do have this set at 93 for some reason if you leave that at 93 and you have all of your blocks over here it will just continue through. I know it seems odd because you would normally put the amount of frames that you want at the start and it would go through but this one you just leave it at 93 and it'll continue doesn't matter how many frames you keep posting it'll keep going through however if you do less like if you're only doing a five second clip which is 81 frames make sure that is set at 81 frames put your first text prompt here i've written a young man and a woman walk down an alleyway as the camera pans back which it did very well 
and down the bottom is actually your seed here but this seed doesn't just control that one it controls all of them so you can have that change to randomize if you want that to be random each time or just fix it there that's my first generation the steps are eight because of that distilled laura and cfg1 and shift is 12 once we've gone through there um, we can save the output i've got that one turned off but you can just click that there and turn that on if you want and that's where it goes through the block again so that's a copy block and it'll regenerate the next part and on there as well if you want to block these off you just click control and circle around them and then just click this thing here right and that'll turn it off if you don't want to go through it um, but if you want to generate it again same thing control and select and then click control c to copy and then paste so you can keep going on and on as you have it infinitely you may want to do a clean vram I haven't put one of those in there yet, but I'll probably do that and maybe have it dropped in the Google Drive with the others. Now you can change your prompt at each five second block. The woman slaps the man across the face as they walk. It didn't really do that. It tried doing something along those lines. If you leave it blank, then the walk will obviously continue. So that's what you use those for. When you come out here, that's where your end video is right there which is in this case a 15 second block the other thing with this is i do have block swap on and i do have it at 40 because i've only got 16 gigabyte vram and you can turn on torch compile if that works on your computer and give that a go as well here's another sample i tried and in the second prompt box i wanted them to put their fists up which it did this is something that came out better than WAN 2.2 is it kept on moving the camera back. By now WAN would have drifted away at some stage. Once again my hard drive is getting filled up with more models and I can't delete any of them because I can see uses for all of them. Anyway this is enough from me. Hope you've learned something. Subscribe, like, watch my other videos and we'll see you in the next one.